Hi everyone! I hope you guys are doing great. Um, it's really nice out this morning and I thought I would go outside and work on a project that I've been meaning to do for half a year. I don't know. A long time. But it's just so beautiful out and it's not going to stay that way because every afternoon a rainstorm has come in. So um, I'm going to go ahead and, and get as much done of this as I can. Um, let's see. When I was back in St. Louis the last time, I was trying to clean out my storage area as best I could. And I've got it almost cleaned out. But one of the things I grabbed when I was there was my sewing machine and threads and everything that goes along with it. It's one thing I kept when I sold my home. Uh, sewing machines always come in handy, you know, and it doesn't take up that much space. So um, the project I'm working on is involves a sewing machine so enjoy and I'll be back I'm going to reinforce this right down here where I just cut between the two. I think it'll be okay, but I'm going to go ahead and sew that up and reinforce it. I'm not sure where I'm going to put these yet, <laughs> but I think this will work. So let's, let's do it. straight but it'll work I'll do the same thing to this one and I don't know whether to leave it like this or cut it in half I might hold off on this piece here So this was all in one piece. So this is one piece I cut and I sewed this along the top. And uh, like I said, it was one piece. And then I had this one and this and this one here, of course. But why I bought it was I liked, I liked it for one thing, but I, I got it at a Goodwill, and I can't remember what town I was in, but that's all it cost. So I grabbed it uh, six months ago, <laughs> and I've been carrying it around. I've just gotten, let's see, I got the scamp in uh, two days before Christmas, and I'm just getting in the mood to decorate it. Uh, the nicer weather helps. Okay, so um, of these two pieces that I just did, I'm going to go up. I need to sew up and reinforce this side here. It'll be interesting to see where I put these and how I'm going to hook them up in the scamp. Okay, so um, if you guys are wondering how I'm running this, 
I am running it with my um, Jackery 240. It works just fine. Um, okay, so we have this piece here and this piece here. And um, I'm pretty sure I know where I'm going to put this one. And uh, I, I'm not sure how. I mean, I could use Velcro, but I don't know whether Velcro would hold on that wall or not. Um, I don't know. I have no idea. I have those push pins that you can put, um, which is what I have the plastic holding up with now. But no matter what I do, I can't put anything heavy in it. And what I'm trying to do is get some of my shoes off the floor because <laughs> they're taking up space. <laughs> and um, I change, you know, my shoes all the time. So um, going from slippers to tennies to, you know, uh, hiking shoes, which I don't wear that often, uh, sandals, so I want to get them off the floor because you just keep tripping over them and they're taking up space. So, um, but if, hmm, so I don't, I don't know where I'm going to put the, I mean, I know where I'm going to put them, I don't know how, now I'm going to put this on one of the cabinet doors and I can't, I have these hanging things and I can't find them or I can hang them over the edge of a door. That would be great. And if I can't do that, then I'll just <laughs> drill holes through my uh, wood cabinets and hold it, get screw it on that way. Don't want to uh, do that if I can find those, but I've looked in the van and I can't find them and I might have tossed them out, got rid of them or something because I wasn't using them and I can't keep everything. So, um, I just love this place. It's beautiful, but it won't stop raining since I've been here. I mean, this is morning and it's starting to cloud up and, uh, I'll have to show you. And every afternoon it's just gotten really windy and poured down rain. So, oh, so any hiking I do, I do in the morning. But this morning I decided to do this. Um, sewing machine and my sewing threads and needles and stuff, everything that goes along with it, I, I brought along and it's been in the van since the last time I was back in Missouri. Um, figured it'd come in handy, so <laughs> it has. Um, I, one thing I don't want to do is I don't want to drill any holes in my fiberglass, so I'm just, I don't even want to go there with that, so we're not going to do that. So that's why I was thinking about maybe just hooking this on one of the, my little kitchen cabinets. Um, yeah, I think that's what I'll do. I'm going to show you a glimpse of here at Eagle Nest. Give me a second. Okay, a quick look around my campsite. Yeah, and like I said, it's been raining every afternoon here. And it's been when it gets real windy, so I've just kept my solar panels on the ground. I get tired of um, putting them down every time the wind picks up. So, but yeah, you can see the clouds. Yeah, it's beautiful here, though. It's my favorite place, you know. Just gorgeous.
still snow on top of the mountains. Let's go and look over here. Mountains over there too. Anyway, there we go. Anyway, we are uh, just over 8,200 feet here, so yay! It's definitely cool enough. And I kind of pieced this together so you could see what it looked like. Should have done that before I started cutting on it, but I wasn't thinking. I was going to even video it, but there you go. That's pretty good for four dollars and something cents. And uh, like I said, I just had it in the van the whole time, debating on what to do, and I finally got in the mood to fix my scamp up. And I'm sure that has to do with the weather being better and I can get outside. But uh, yeah. I don't know where I'm going to put them, but I'll, I'll figure something out. That house there. See that house? I see that people are working on it. It was empty last year, but I think people are actually working on that house. What a great place for a house. Okay. Okay, so I did get one of them, the biggest one, up on the wall. Well, I was using command strips, like in six places, and there's no way it was with Velcro on. Actually, it's Velcro on one side, but I have this rat fur, so it sticks to it. There's no way it's going to hold anything. It's just not strong enough. So I went ahead and put those little uh, upholstery pins in. Uh, you probably can't see them. They get those little twisty pins. And that's what I have my plastic on with. Um, but I put those all over, and they're holding this pretty good. And what it is is I needed to get my shoes off the floor. I have a very limited <laughs> floor space here. And the cats and I always battle for, for it. And... Um, I needed some place to put my shoes that I'm wearing right now. I mean, I have a spot I can store shoes in underneath the sofa, but it's too hard to get in and out of it. But that's what I wanted these for. Up here, I got keys and my GPS. Um, and, uh, yeah, and then I have uh, another one hanging. And I'm not going to move the camera, but um, uh, hanging on, you know, the little cabinet beside my door there, the, the larger one I hang uh, hung up uh, one of the long ones there and then I have two more and I don't know where I'm going to put them. Like I said, I don't want to clutter my walls with stuff. I These things I think will come in handy. Uh, I just don't know where to put them where I'm not feeling like I'm cluttered. Now this is right inside the door. I don't even notice it because it's I'm facing this way when I come in. So, But I, 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 was, I was really in desperate need and I refuse to put any holes in my fiberglass, so um, I just basically do have to hang them on walls or on the wood light cabinets or something. Okay, that's it. Um, I have other things I have to sew. I am sewing new covers for the pillows. I'll talk about that later. I haven't had them cut out for over a month now, and I haven't done it yet because it's been kind of rainy outside no matter where I go and um, I have moved around quite a bit in the last couple weeks and I've kind of settled here but I will be moving in a couple days so um, but then I'll be in the next place I'm, I'm up in the mountains now okay as you saw and uh, I'm gonna be here till middle or end of September um, yeah, so there's not a whole lot, there's not going to be a whole lot of me moving around, you know, every, you know, two weeks or so I have to change campsites, but basically they're the same campsites. So I don't know what I'm going to um, show you <laughs> this summer, because I'm going to be in basically the same place area this whole time. 
but I'll come up with something like silly things like this. But um, yeah, I guess I'll let you go. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else there is probably and I can't think of it. Yeah. Who knows? Uh, I will let you guys go and I hope you are doing great and I will talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.